So this is our 1956 Herbert Capstan lathe. It's a Herbert number no. four. It's um, it's not been used for about three years now. Um, <clears throat> the last time it went to be used for any uh, major work, the the electrics, the electric gubbins inside the box down there uh, had got so badly corroded it wouldn't start up. So. It had a lot of money spent on it, rewiring it, and then we decided to keep it, which is why it's in here. The <clears throat> the it gets used about once every seven months. I last used it uh, to make something for me dad, I think, which was probably yeah about seven months ago. Um, so I'm just going to talk through the basic features of the capstan lathe. So for starters, this particular lathe is fitted with a collet chuck. So a collet chuck, this is the chuck, and a collet chuck has collets that hold the workpiece in. Yeah. So this is a collet. There's three of these in a set. Uh, they can be any shape that you like. We've got hexagonal ones, square ones. This one's a 35 mil, and obviously it's for round material. So, it goes back in there. So, first thing about the capstan lathe, it doesn't have a tailstock. It has the capstan, right, which is this thing here. So, like I say, this thing doesn't get used all that much, so it's got quite dusty, and it just becomes a dumping ground for general uh, rubbish. <coughs> so, what? What I want to show is the Coventry die box which is fitted on here. So you can move the, move the bed down like that, undo that, and then this should come back into life. So if I, sp if I bring this forward like I just have done, and then bring it back, then I can spin the capstan around towards us. If <coughs> If I want to turn it clockwise, it will turn it clockwise automatically. Yeah? Idea being, we can have six tools set up on the capstan, yeah? And we set the capstan up and we can set tools up in the um, Morse taper sleeves, which are there. And given that we've got the right sleeves fitted, which we currently haven't, I can fit this inside there, this jaw chuck, yeah? So. This is the commentary die box, and it's currently set up with M6 dies. There are the dies. Right, let me lock this in position. Like that. So, when I... Let me zoom this in a bit. So, this is the die box. So currently it's, it's set, so it's open. If I pull this lever like that, it locks up, yeah? Now you can only just see that there is a dial, a dial there and a lever there. So that dial sets how far apart these dies are going to be. So if I undo that and screw this in, then you can see, I don't know if you could see that, but the dies have just closed up and now they're opening again yeah if I lock that back up like that and then pull on this it it releases so when it's cut in and you pull back on that handle it would automatically release if I flip that over there that is my second cut and that is a fine cut yeah so you do a rough cut and a, and a fine cut and again, to stop it, this will pull out like this and then automatically release. I can lock the capstan off with that. I'm just going to unlock it and spin it back around. Maybe not. That's it. It's getting a bit tired, this old girl is. Right. So, I'm going to get some material and I'm going to do a cut. So now 
I've just given the top of the lathe a quick clean down. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to face the end, uh, well it should have been faced off. I'm going to put a chamfer on the end and I'm going to give this a go. So I leave a chamfer tool set up in here. Not that long since it was last used, it's seized up. Typical, isn't it? So I need a mallet. Just give it a bit of a persuasion. There we go, there she goes. Come on. There we go. There we go, right. some oil on it. So I'm going to start it up. For this I'm going to use about 260 RPM. It's been a lot, this is a very old machine and the clutch slips very badly so we'll have to see what happens with this.
not still doesn't go on. So what I'm going to do next is remove this onto the fine setting, like that. And this should be the last one. the other side or another bit of 20mm bar or whatever that side already been cut off but I'm not gonna let that worry me and then I'm gonna put another bit of a chamfer on there There's a smaller bit of bar, it's gone on quite nicely. I'd have cut the thread too tight, the nut wouldn't have gone on. I'd have cut it too loose, then the nut would slop around and not do the job it's meant to do. So that this machine is now set up to cut M20mm threads um, on 20mm diameter bar for whatever purpose you might need to do it for an introduction to the capstan lathe and the Coventry die box.